Hello and welcome back to the bastard plays XCOM Enemy Within on Classic Iron Man. So, okay, okay. Last last mission, we we were definitely a bit uh, over enthusiastic, I'd say, over enthusiastic, um, which led to the death of Major Brendan Devil Dog O'Brien on Operation Crimson Heat. That was that was pretty embarrassing, pretty embarrassing, all told. Um, Interestingly, the top three of our most decorated dead soldiers are all mech troopers. Um, <laughs> which should teach me a lesson about relying on the tank ability of mech troopers. Um, especially near the end of the game, and especially against mechtoids, apparently. Um, so, yeah. two. In fact, the two uh, uh, mech troopers who have shared the same armour, our uh, slightly lower level armour, since the beginning, have both died from mechtoid fire. So, yeah, just uh, be more careful, bastard, really, I think is the lesson there. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to crack on forward. There's uh, there's not much for it other than the lesson of basically don't leave mech troopers out in front of mutant elites, um, or, me or mechtoids for that matter. Um, we're about to get the plasma cannon. Uh, we've got a cybernetic augmentation coming up, that's Hoda um, uh, be having her limbs cut off in preparation for being shoved into uh, George and Devil Dog's old suit which isn't grisly and grim at all um, so yeah, let's just scan forward and let those things happen uh, so we can assign you research only I don't think we can because we don't have enough weapon fragments uh, no, we need uh, 42 more weapon fragments before we can do guided fusion launcher which I believe is our final uh Final thing to get our uh, our final research. So there we go. Um, let's uh, let's actually just launch <coughs> our final satellites now. To be honest, um, nothing. I mean, look at look at. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're, we're absolutely fine. Um, so we'll just launch. Okay, everything covered. Everything covered. Lovely. Uh, let's get this cybernetic augmentation out of the way. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, do that before something crops up. Yep. Um, so go to mech inventory. Yep, that's fine. Ooh, damaged. Oh, bloody hell, we need to repair that. We don't have enough meld yet. Eek. Okay, we need meld quickly. <laughs> we need meld. Okay, that's that's fine. We can't wield two mechs, but we've got a good lineup. We've got a good lineup, so we should be fine. Um, cancel report. B... For an escaped UFO. That was um, basically the uh, story mission that we couldn't take at that time because we didn't have a firestorm. So, you know, could be worse. Could be worse. We've now got all the uh, continent bonuses, which is nice. 1,535. I mean, that's, you know, that's great. So, the first thing we're going to do with that is build a gallop chamber, which is the final thing we need to build for the story. And we're full apart from that, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. Okay, uh, let's go to the foundry and just see what uh, extra stuff we've got there. Uh, advanced construction, yeah, accelerator vehicle construction, but we're not really going to do anything with that. Um, we need two cyberdisc wrecks um, to improve the system flight capabilities of Archangel and Hovershift designs. Um, but we, I mean, we can't do that <laughs> uh, because we don't have the cyber disc, disc wrecks. It's possible at this point we won't even get any more cyber discs, so that might be not buildable essentially, um, which is interesting. Uh, so what else have we got? I don't think there's anything in here that particularly where stuff particularly needs building. We could do with another alloy cannon. Um, uh, we could do with that, but we'll look and see what else we've got first. Um, I've given fusion lances. No, not fusion. Is it fusion lances? Yeah. So these, th we have three more firestorms that are presumably just running on just shit weapons. Um, fusion lance. Fusion lance. Yeah. Did it load out? Oh, there we go. I forgot to arm them with fusion lances. Yes, that's pretty stupid of me. I thought we had uh, enough. Uh... There we go. There we go. Lucky that didn't turn up and horribly embarrass me. Um, 
So, uh, we're good with that. I guess we could replace them with the MP cannons. But at this stage, meh. I'm not, I'm not too bothered. We don't need money for that much anymore, really. Um, okay, so we've got a Ghost or Archangel Armor. Um, we, will buy, we will buy a set of Archangel Armor. Um, technically, I wouldn't mind buying two each of Psy, Ghost, and Archangel Armors. Um, and you know what? We've got the cash to do it, and there's not much else to spend things on. Uh, so first things first, we'll get another Ghost Armor. They are easily the most useful of those things. Um, and yeah, we'll... Why not? Just in case we ever take two snipers. And just in case we ever decide to give two people Scion. Yep. And we've got 211 left over. Um, is there anything else we realistically do need? I don't think there is, you know. I don't think there is. Um, well, actually, we could, uh, could do more chitin plating. That's not a bad idea. We'll get another chitin plating. Um, but other than that, I think, to be honest, we're more or less good. Um, I want to save a bit of cash up for repair. Oh, we're going to cost 14. It's the meld. It's the meld. Uh, we need more meld. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, looks like there's nothing else really for us to do at this point other than roll on forward. Uh, we've got side testing finishing up. I'm looking forward to that because it means we can field our A-team again. Uh, and then, yeah, just getting the gallop chamber up and going, really. So, how did our side... No gift. Just nothing. No one has any gifts. Um, I guess we might as well add our, our lower level people in. Just in case we need to uh, back up with anyone. <laughs> we'll, add, we'll put Fang in. There you go. Um... Anyone else? Should we put in anyone else? I guess we could put Crash in. I guess we could put Crash in and Justin and maybe Rogue. Um, Rogue or Stax. We'll put Stax in, I think. Um, no, we'll put Rogue in and uh, maybe Crash. Why not, eh? Why the hell not? Oh, it takes four days. Okay, yeah, we're just scanning forward until this gallop chamber is built, really. Um, so we need three aloe cannons and the rewarders with a huge amount of money. Um, so not now, but how much will it cost us to uh, build three aloe cannons? A lot, a lot less than that, I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, 212, so we need 600 and something. Uh, cost of us a load of Illyrium and alloys, um, but we should be—we've probably got a big stack of those, I imagine. Um, yeah, that's a lot of money, but at the same time, it's not money we really need anymore. <clears throat> we've got a while to think about it, I think. Uh, yeah, we've got a while to think about it. Maybe even before. Yeah, we've got—we've got a while to think about it. At least till the Gollop Chamber is built. <clears throat> so we'll just roll on forward. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a very large battleship. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it okay. is, it well, we'll get some meld from this. Let's take it down. Let's be a bit more fucking careful this time. We're in pursuit. Okay. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Look at that. Okay. 17 left. Uh, no sector pod. That's great. Mutant leaks. Mectoid, sectoid. Sector commander. Muton berserker. Muton. M basic mutons and chrysalids. That's pretty good. That's pretty sweet. Um, we're definitely sending a Sky Ranger in there. Excellent. Okay. Uh, battleship. This will be a big. This will be a big mission. But we should be good. We should be good, folks. Okay, let's make some items available. And we will, of course, send in Norma. And we will send in... We will... No, we can't send in Hoda, unfortunately. Um, maybe we should send in Hoda in... in Norma's suit to get some XP. You know, that's not a bad idea. So Hoda can get some uh, some experience. That's not a bad idea at all. 
Um, who else we got in the middle of leveling up? We will send... Uh, yeah, these guys are, are the highest, so we're going to send those to Siphony and uh, Megara. Our, our highest ranked psychics, so we need to level them up, so we'll send in those guys. Uh, which means we need a sniper in there. Let's send Nyx. And we need a heavy. And we'll send Shilong. Uh, just, like, not our top tier. I prefer not to send in our top tier. But these guys are pretty damn good. Okay, so we can't double mech up. So what are we going to do? Well, you know, I'm tempted to send... It's going to be either an assault or a support, blatantly, because uh, those are our lower level ones. We'll send in an assault. And we will send in... Yeah, we'll send in our uh, our second tier highest uh, assault, I guess, because sh just because Shotzi's got some gene mods and Justin doesn't. We'll send in Justin, and then we can double up Ghost Armor, which is lovely. Um, so first up, let's promote Hoda. So collateral damage. So what will she have learned from the inevitable de demise of all these bloody mechs? Um, <laughs> uh, well, automated threat assessment. So extra defense, um, damage control. <laughs> Um, one for all is useless, so jet boot modules. I think it's useless anyway. Comment if you disagree. Um, repair servos. Yep. So, Hoda. Let's give you the Paladin. With a particle cannon. Looks pretty good in red. Uh, and, oh, you are, you are a captain. You deserve a hat. What hat? Shall Hoda get as a former operative, as a former sneaky spy type? Hmm. Which is the most spy-like hat, other than the fedora, obviously, given that we're. Uh, I think that's the most. Yeah, some cool shades. Spies are cool. Yeah, you can get some cool shades. There we go. Okay, uh, to Tiffany. Rather obviously, you're getting ghost armor. And an alloy cannon. Oh, we don't have a second alloy cannon. That's a good point. We are going to go buy an alloy cannon straight away. Um, so, I can't remember how much we needed, but it was it was definitely some money. I remember it was d distinctly some money. So, that should, uh, that should probably do. No, clicking away from the wrong thing. Uh, yes. Yes, I was right. It is some money. Okay, yeah. If uh, if you are, incidentally, um, not not British, that's uh, that's dry British humour for you there. Just a quick example. Quick example. Yeah. Uh, so, where were we? Uh, so, Tisiphone has, uh, has ghost armour. Take an alloy cannon and a plasma pistol. And obviously some chitin plating. And you know what? We're not going to fuck around with an arc thrower. I'd, or maybe maybe it's worth it on one of them. Uh, not to Siphony though. Okay, not to Siphony, which means that to Siphony we'll get a... Do, 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 do. There does seem to be quite a few things uh, vulnerable to flashbangs here, actually. Mutons and muton elites. So maybe a flashbang. Maybe a flashbang. We'll equip ghost grenades across... We, we'll equip all our ghost grenades, so... A flashbang might not be a bad idea. Yeah, we'll take a... We'll take a flashbang. Okay. And as for Magira, He's going to take Psy armor. And a plasma rifle. And a plasma pistol. And a ghost grenade. And medkits. Obviously. This extra Psy armor should be handy for, uh, well, doing Psy things, really. Uh, Archangel armor for Nyx. Lovely. Plasma sniper rifle, plasma pistol, and obviously a scope. And then, I don't know, maybe, uh, yeah, we'll give, uh, I guess we'll give Nyx the other ghost grenade. Might not be able to use it from where she is, but can also always do a quick run forward and, and use it, I suppose. 
uh, Titan Armor, the only uh, Titan Armored person now on this uh, in this group. Um, bit of chitin plating on him, and alien grenade. He is he has got grenadier, so we'll probably give him alien grenade. Yep. And then on Justin, we'll take ghost armor, alloy cannon, plasma pistol. And chitin plating, and yeah, we'll give him uh, we'll give him an arc thrower. Look at that! Look at that team. That is intimidating as all hell. Two assaults and a former assault. We're going in hard. We're going in aggressive, but obviously we're going to be insanely careful, like I just said. <laughs> uh, those those two things match, right? Right. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, I'm feeling fairly confident. No sect pods. We'll be careful of the mectoids. We'll be careful of the, the mutant elites. Uh, I didn't see an ethereal list leader. Uh, Operation Secret Mother. So we want these meld canisters. Uh, but obviously don't kill ourselves to get them. But we do want that meld. We want that second mech suit up and running ASAP. There we go. Battleship down. So far. Considering the impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to It's so big you land on the ship itself. So as quickly as possible. Let's get ourselves set up for a breach here, as you might expect. Exactly as you'd expect. Okay, that's fine. Can go there. Good to go. Gear can go there at the breach point. As can Zhang, because uh, the assaults will be probably running and gunning in. So they don't need to be right there in cover. So they've got that extra, juicy extra movement. So, and we'll just uh, breach in next turn, as one might expect. Uh, you can just hunker because nothing else is going to come down, and it'll save me switching out weapons. Okay, so that's the mectoid. That was some mutons, but. Uh, Okay, chill on. Say what? Show us what you can see. Nothing. Okay. Hoda, you're up. Moving out. Canister location confirmed. Okay. Well, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Moving to position. Very good start. Yes, Commander. So we are getting enough meld for the mech suit from this. Uh, no matter what happens, because we're going to get that. I hope. Aye, aye, <laughs> okay, you can actually run in. No, yeah, just in case there's something that comes out next turn, you can you can go there. That's fine. And something might actually come out of the woodwork now, so we will switch weapon. Just in case. Okay. Something over there. Chrysalids. Mectoid. So is, there, is this just dead? Yeah, that's dead area. Okay. That's fine. Dashing. You just go over there. So it looks like we're at some kind of side thing. I'm not entirely sure of the map on these, to be honest. I've only done uh, missions uh, with these once or twice. So we'll actually dash there with Megara, which is fine. And then we'll just trigger this next turn. 
and then we've got another breach here by the look of it, uh, which I suspect will be the uh, will be a breach. Oh no, it looks like there's a little chamber. They might be in there, you know. They might be in there. It's always a possibility. So we'll uh, we'll be careful about that breach as well. Um, I don't imagine we'll end up getting um, the second canister of meld unless it's somewhere really close. Uh, because, like I say, we are being cautious. It's the only sensible thing to do. Um, but we'll see. I guess we'll see. Our, our overconfidence cost us Devil Dog last time, and I don't want that to happen again. But there's lots of breaches here so far, and you know me, I like breaches. I do like breaches, and I cannot lie. Um, okay, let's uh, let's dash in there. If there's anything in this corridor, it's going to die horribly um, as soon as we breach, so I'm not worried about having everyone in the perfect uh, position just then. Okay, that's it. We, we now officially have enough meld to... Uh, to... Uh, this, this this position is fine right here. I'm not bothered about not having our sniper in position. Because if there's, like I said, if there's something in there, then um, it's going to die. Although there is this branching outness here, um, so that looks like that goes up to big platforms. It looks like this area will have a lot of enemies in. That's what that looks like to me. Okay, let's just have a look in here though, eh? We'll actually move to a breach position there. I don't think no, I didn't think so. But we'll send we'll breach here and we'll actually send a team up here. Up on that side. That seems like a uh, a sensible approach to take. Okay. We're actually gonna dash there into breach position. Because these guys uh we'll have a heavy there, but we'll also have, say, Justin. Up there in breach position, because we'll want we'll want the assaults more forward, really more forward, and we'll actually have both assaults there. We might just send um, Nix up on that side. I'll have to see what I think. Um, in the meantime, putting Magera there makes sense both ways, and we'll just move. We'll just move Nick's up there. That's fine. So again, we're ready to breach next. Well, we might we might hang on a turn and send people up on the on the right hand side a bit more comprehensively. Okay, so there's some over there. Whoop! Hello, boys. Running into my Overwatch. I don't mind you doing that. Ooh, hello. Okay. Interesting. Right. Well, isn't this interesting? This is interesting. Okay. Hum, hum, hum. Okay. So first, you know what's first here, actually? First here is Chilong. Because Chilong... Do you have Bullet Swarm? Or Hollow Targeting, for that matter. You do have Bullet Swarm. Uh, so you can take a shot... Possible that firing a rocket would that be a sensible action to take? Shot is blocked there apparently. Although I could, yeah, it's fiddly. It's fiddly. Fine. Uh, how about grenades? That's see, his grenades do the same damage as a rocket, and they're easier to target. So, what he should do is fire and then throw a grenade because he's got bullet swarm, right? So he'll take a shot. 
Because we should really just try and kill these guys completely. Because um, I don't think... I don't think moving is going to really help us very much. He's on Overwatch as well. Um, do you know what we're going to do first? First reaction shot. Did these guys go on Overwatch? I can't even remember. Um... first. So that's 100%, which is great. So let's do just that. And that should do a chunk of damage to it. First off, which is excellent. And then he's going to grenade these guys up here. Although that will blow that cover. But so it goes. Oh, wow. That guy's just dead. Okay. This is the wrong angle to do this. Let's try that. Well, he could just shoot the mectoid again. Because I, I don't know what we'll do there. And that will also blow that cover, which is potentially our only cover. Um, I suspect this guy's on Overwatch as well. Is he? Can they have done that? No, I think the mectoid can go on Overwatch because they're special. Um... Because they, they can go on Overwatch without taking an action, I think. Because they're robotic. <sighs> Come on, Tissiphony. Let's go up here. Yep, lightning reflexes on that one. Which is fine. I want to see up here. I want to see what I'm doing so I can make a value judgment on grenading those guys. So... Well, blatantly, that is a rapid fire hit right there. 73, 77. Rapid fire that, please. Nice. Right, I don't think this is going to be a problem. Um, it's not worth grenading there now. So, we'll just bullet swarm this guy. Right, they're dead, really. Um, the only question is, how do we want them to die? <laughs> and how we g are we going to take out the uh, Sector Commander? We're going to take out the Sector Commander by uh, running and gunning with Justin. Up to there, and we're going to rapid fire it to death. Ooh, although it's behind cover there. Still, that's two 70s. That might be enough. That Wow! That's certainly enough. Okay. Um... Now, how are we going to deal with this guy, actually? I'd kind of forgotten about that guy. Uh, <laughs> um, and we can't uh, zap him, unfortunately, but there we go. Um, do, 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 do. Well, you know what we should do, actually? Well, what's your shots like from there? That's an 84. That's actually pretty good, considering how close it is. Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sniper rifle to the face. And you know what that means. Oh, double tap. Might as well. Nix. Nix, you are beautiful. Um, we're not going to fuck around. Because Justin's gone to the other side, which is a shame. We're not going to fuck around here. We're not going to risk taking a horrible critical or something. Uh, but what we are going to do is punch it to death with Hoda for some XP. I'm on it, Commander. Approaching hostile target. So at this stage in the game, like the autopsy is not going to give us much anyway, really. Bye! Uh, so, McGarry can go here. So how many was that? One, two, three, four, five. So that's five taken out out of 17 already, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, hello. They are coming to us, aren't they? Hello, boys. Did you just jump back down there? Okay. Yeah, there's somewhere around here. Okay. That's fine. 
You know what? Justin's going to go right here. Oh, odd. He can't see the one down there. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, rapid fire. It does up to 10 damage, so we will rapid fire. And that's good, because two well needed. Okay. And let's get some line of sight on them with uh, with Siphony. Actually, let's move a bit forward for it. I want, I want full line of sight first into the rest of here. Okay, no, that's fine. So we can get some nice, uh, nice fire down on them from there. Uh, might as well <clears throat> see what uh, we can do from here. We'll take one shot. We'll see if it hits. We'll see if it well. We'll see if it kills. And it does. Thank you, to Tiffany. Okay, so that's another three down. So we're down to nine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. Um, as one might expect. But we'll actually consolidate. Because I don't know if... Obviously... Oh! <laughs> Mutant Berserkers right there! Um, yeah, that was a bit foolish. Okay. Um, let's try and... Make sure we get a kill with someone who can get XP, i.e. Magera. Now, don't panic, people. It's fine. It's all fine. Yep. Grand. Excellent. XP ahoy! And... You can actually uh, move there, please, Chalong. And we can drop a little bit of Overwatch just in case something else comes for us as well. Which uh, certainly is possible. It's certainly possible. Actually, no, just reload. There's not much point in uh, laying down pistol Overwatch from back there. So that's at least another Mechtoid by the sound of it. But I imagine anything else will be through those doors, I should think. Well, let's find out, shall we? Yep, looks like, looks like, okay, we're going to do a, a reload round, for the most part. Aye, aye. Well, that's all gone very well. They've been, um, luckily they've been running right into our guns, which is, uh, I mean, I do appreciate that. Let me reload. Ammunition loaded. Okay, and, I'm rolling. off you go, Justin. Some nice snippets of uh, XP as well, which is nice. Uh, it was a shame that we couldn't zap that mute on elite, but uh, oh well. Not the uh, not the worst thing that could have happened by any means. Okay, and you you can actually just dash because uh, no one's going to lay down any Overwatch this round. I don't really see the point. Why did I take Archangel armor when? Uh, ooh, okay, there is something over there. And there's Meld over there. Okay. What? Uh... Okay, yeah, there is a there's a thing. There's totally things. We don't need to breach forward, guys. To the left and the right. Oh, wow. Okay, this map's huge. Well, we're going in that direction, then. We are going in that direction. Let's see what's here. Should we do that? Uh, we probably shouldn't. Because uh, we can't get up there with anyone else, really. Oh, yeah, we can. Sure, that's dashing. That must be dashing. Yeah. Of course, that must be dashing, right? It just isn't saying it's dashing. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah, it's yellow. Okay. Right. So you go. You go there. See if we can get this meld, but I think it's probably ticking down by now. So, you know, bear that in mind.
Megera, well you can take a shot. So maybe we should do that and then run and gun you up there. And you can take a shot as well. Well, why not? <laughs> I can always ghost grenade. We can always ghost grenade. Ah, you can't see anything anyway. Uh, we will run and gun. Actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. So we can't see anything from there, so we probably won't be able to see anything from here. Yeah, we can always still trigger run and gun and go for it. No, we're fine. Okay. Double time. Double time indeed. See if we can get this meld. I suspect we, we won't be able to now unless it's right in front of us when we come out. But, uh, you know. Anything's a possibility, guys. Anything's a possibility. I sense a lot of running around in this map. Uh, if so, that's fine. Come on, Nix. You're lagging behind. Okay, let's uh, let's move out there and see what we can see, shall we? Doesn't look like it continues much that way, so I'm guessing they're just here. Probably. Uh, have we actually managed? Have we actually managed to box Hoder in? No, we haven't entirely. Okay. Okay, let's. Where should we go? How far forward do we want to go? Let's go here. No? Okay. Wow, this map is fucking huge. Am I going to regret going this way? It's massive. Heading out. Taking cover behind there, which is entirely not sensible, but so it goes. I think the, the meld is coming from this direction, so we will go towards there. We will go towards there. Let's make our breach on that end. See if it's any closer, then moving to designated position. That will help, even if only slightly. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. Nothing around here by the look of it. I suspect we're gonna spend a lot of time running around in this level. If that's the case, I might. Uh, if there's huge amounts of traversal, I might edit them out. It's looking like they will be, because there already are. <laughs> so, you know. Meld is definitely through there. The fact that it's repeatedly pinging me right now is not a good sign, though. Um, that probably means it's about to run dry. Uh, imminently, so... I'll pick up the pace. We, will, we will breach next turn, but I'm not hopeful. I'm not hopeful. Okay. If you wonder, incidentally, exactly why I don't move the mech flush with the door for breaching, um, it's so that enemies can run in and trigger all our overwatch. Because if they just open the door, they might not trigger the guys at the sides, depending on their, the angles and etc. 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 So, that's why. There you go. We'll just actually move there because we might get some nice shots through that door. And you can hunker. Okay, we'll breach next turn, but I suspect this meld is lost to us. Looks like it's right here, though. 
So maybe not. Might get lucky. Pfft, bloody hell. This place is huge. This place is absolutely massive. And there's only 17 enemies swarming around in it. Ugh. This is going to take so long. Boot up XCOM, I thought. Quick episode, I thought. It's actually silly sized. Considering how many enemies there, well, aren't. Um, really, is a bit bit of a silly sized map. And I know all you XCOM veterans be going, oh, let's see a big bell chip down there, don't you know, you idiot. But, well, evidently I didn't. And here I am. Just think it's a bit pointless. Just don't see the point of a map this size. There's never a, uh, never aliens to, you know, enough aliens to, to fill a map this size, really. I, I guess if maybe if I'd taken it down without shoot, if it had landed, I don't know. Whether there'd be like 40 aliens or, I don't know, maybe. Even they would be, even, okay, so there are some aliens here, so that's good, maybe. And the meld is here, probably like right now. Oh my god, it keeps on going. Well, let's go find that meld. Meld is top priority, I suppose. Oh, four turns, okay. Well, we're going to get that then, aren't we? That's nice. So our trip down here hasn't been entirely pointless, which is uh, which is good. And standard breach. Standard breach protocol. He said, trying to sound cool. Um, okay. Tweak into Symphony can go here. I wish you could select soldiers after you've sent another soldier off running. Just while they're running. Wouldn't be a bad little notion. We won't dash for it. We've got four turns. We're fine. It's just a... There, we're just going to have to run after alien sign, really. Just whenever we hear something, we're going to have to dash for it. Because this map is just huge. Can we see anything? can't even see anything. Okay. On my way. Let's see if we can see anything from this position. Nope. Okay. How about from here? There we go. Chrysalids and a mectoid with two sectoids. Come a little closer, please. Yeah. Okay. Now, what can we do with rockets? Is that shot blocked? Is it really? Okay. That's not a bad idea, but it does put um, does blow that cover. That um, Justin's behind. Can we just 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 that that? We're not gonna have a better opportunity for a rocket, really. Well, it does six damage, which isn't enough to actually kill them. So, is there a point to it? Is there a point to it? Sometimes it does do more damage than it says. Um, what is three, four, five, six, seven, eight? And pretty much any one shot from any one of our troopers is going to kill them. So is it worth doing that? I don't know if it's worth doing that, actually. I guess probably not.
I tell you what, we'll actually completely kill them without needing to uh, do anything. He's putting a proximity mine that does 8 damage here. Because they will move because they're chrysalids, right? So, theoretically, theoretically, that should kill them all. Hmm. Oh, crap. Sorry. Sorry, too long. Missed anyway. Good out. We might just ghost grenade these guys. Okay, all's well that ends well. Um, I, I might be taking a bit of a risk by not firing at those guys at all, but... Uh, should I suppress him? Or should I uh, actually take that shot? These guys have... At least one of these guys has close combat specialist anyway, so... What's the firing like at... Well, it's rubbish at them. So we will... Okay, let, let's do some uh, damage control, just in case. Just in case, right? Okay. Ninety-five. One hundred. Twenty-five. 59? Maybe that is worth it? I don't know. No. Nope. Just in case. Okay, yeah. I uh, right. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, we'll, we will ghost grenade. We won't... Uh... Shot off on him, which misses. So that's fine. That one was lucky. This time. So we can get everyone in the ghost grenade here. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not taking a pistol shot because presumably that's at them. Yeah, that doesn't. It just really doesn't matter, so we'll go down. They're going to buff that mectoid, which is to be expected. Boom! Boom. Yeah, I didn't really need to kill them, obviously. <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Going on Overwatch. What are you going to do? You little idiot. Can you go over there? Okay, that's fine. Take it. I can't shoot anyone from there. No, that's a shame. Okay. Please go here. Grab that meld. Okay. Can't do anything else, really. Um, so, this might be a better position for a rocket. Just to kill those guys and get rid of... Uh, cover, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Automatically kill that sectoid so we don't have to worry about him being there at all. Um, well, it does six damage and so does his grenades, so maybe we should chuck the grenade first, being it's only those guys. Um, yeah, alright. Go on. You love your grenades, chill on. And you can't, you're not really in a position to do anything. Um, so I guess 75% there. 
Someone's probably going to take a hit from that mechtoid next round anyway. Um, although maybe not, because I could just run and gun. Yeah, okay. Hello. I can do the same with Justin, so... We should be fine unless something horrible happens. Which it doesn't. Hello. I bring you alloy to the face. Really? Is that it? Okay. Still should be able to kill it. I should imagine. Quite a lot of damage to it there, actually. But was that because its psychic shield was up from the first shot, maybe? Let's find out. Yep, it was. Bye-bye. Okay. Time to take that sectoid out. Um, out in the open. I guess I could just mine for it, actually. Oh, what's the worst can happen? Take a hit from a sectoid. Wow. Hello. With Psy armor as well. Yep. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Uh, I guess just go on a watch. I don't know. Or maybe move in a bit. I have no idea where the other aliens are right now. So I'm probably going to have to... Uh, make big moves towards other areas of the ship. Oh, hey. Here we go. Whoa! I was not told there was a sector pod. That's rubbish. Okay, we were down to 12. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're down to 6. This is half of the last 3. Of the last 6, rather. Okay, that's... um. Hmm. Well, that's not great, because I was not told that this was a possibility, I guess. I, I'm i fool enough, foolish enough to think that they'd tell me exactly what was here. Um, this isn't great. This isn't a great situation. It's just... It's just too far away to be... Full cover. That's full cover. Okay. I think retreat is on the cards here. Because I want it to be in that sniper range for me. So I can start to pick it off before it starts fucking up my day. Having said that... No. No, no, no. Play it cautious, Matt. Play it cautious. Back here. Back here. Where well, we can get some full cover. We might move forward later. But for now... We're going to... Um, we're risking its overwatch here, actually. But, oh well. <laughs> There's not much we can do about that. We need to move. On my way. Uh, we might take an overwatch on uh, on Hoda here. We'll actually dash all the way to avoid... Uh... Going. Yeah, we're going to take that overwatch, but there's not much we can do about that. It's a miss. No, you're not. Keep moving. Okay, alloy cannon shots from that far aren't going to do much, so feel free to reload. I guess you can hunker. Reload. You can actually drop overwatch. Overwatch. 
Well, that's moving forward fast. Okay. Really? Can't see that from here? What's blocking your line of sight? Is there no block on the line of sight, but you're just... It doesn't count as squad sight yet? Is that it? Um, no, because they can see it. Well, that's annoying. What is blocking your line of sight? I can't see anything that would be blocking your line of sight to them. Uh, well, that's annoying. That is annoying. <coughs> okay. We don't have run and gun up. So what do we do? Now we could actually destroy those um, drones in one grenade shot from Hoda. That's not a bad idea. But these guys just can't engage. You know? They can't engage. They can fire from here. But it's worth shit, basically. This is what I get for splitting up. Um, there's something we can do. That is something we can do. Okay. So, can you actually just rock it from here? I'm guessing that's a no. Yeah, shot is blocked. Okay. Here's something we can do. This is quite interesting. Can you alien grenade that far? Enough to get both drones is what I'm after. To cancel out those repairs. Just not far enough for both drones. But that's a drone kill and like three damage to the sector pod. Whereas firing might not even hit at all. Only got a 50% chance to hit on it at all. So we're going to take that alien grenade shot. We're going to take out a drone. And we're going to do a little bit of damage to the sector pod. Okay. Nope, not you. Not you either. I want to see what uh, Magera can do from here. Can't suppress, because we're going to go ghost. Take out the drone, I guess. Got a 75% chance. Not a bad idea. No repairs for the sector pod. Nice. Now, this is why I took a ghost grenade on Nyx, because every now and then, you have the chance to use it. Excellent. Now, what to do with these guys? So the drones are down. Um, I guess I'm just tempted to just uh, hunker. How far can I f launch a prox mine? I can launch it far enough to matter. Okay. Okay, and these guys are probably just going to ghost out. Yep. Better than hunkering. I'll do both. <laughs> None of them has.
and that's probably going to move forward and trigger that mine. Yep. Right, you're going down this turn. Please don't crit. Oof. And that's not a crit, guys. That is without critting. Okay. We are going to gamble here. We are going to gamble on taking it down in this round. So, first off, headshot and double tap. could do a disabling shot actually cause his main weapon to malfunction yeah let's exercise a wee bit of caution shall we slightly lower to hit hurrah okay so it can't use its weapon that's a big help obviously um, two sixty nines from there. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to take the explosion damage. That's the thing. Um, but we could take guaranteed damage off it with that? I don't know. We'll probably wait and see how we do with everyone else first. Uh, what are your two shots like? 50%. So I've got 50% to do 10 damage. That's an average of 5, right? Or I can do a more or less guaranteed uh, 3. Ugh. Or I could take a shot and then try for suppression. Or I could do suppression with uh, with Megara, to be honest. <sighs> oh, I can always ghost grenade here with Megara as well. Um, but at this point, yeah. I don't know whether to take that kind of guaranteed three. Let's see how these guys do. Let's see how these guys do. Because they're blatantly going to rapid fire. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. One hit. Two hits. This might be it. If I'm lucky. I'm on. I, well, it isn't it. But it's nearly there. But I have guaranteed damage here. Uh, will that do three or two? It might only do two, actually. But it'll be enough. Probably. Maybe. Yeah! Oh, there we go! Huh. And I thought I was going to have to run around. Excellent. I miscounted. I've never been so happy to miscount in my life. So that went well bit of a hit on Hoda, at which point I was kind of cringing here, going, oh god, is it going to happen again? Um, I don't want to chop the limbs off any more of my soldiers. Um, but no. Really good. Uh, so mildly surprised we didn't get a promotion out of that, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, 30 males. Some extra damage stuffs. Uh, yeah, lots of just random bits and pieces, which is nice. Um, do we have enough weapon fragments? Not quite. Not quite. Oh well. But what we do have is uh, enough to repair this mech. Yeah. Great stuff. And there we go. I'll wrap up the episode there. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.